Hey, what is up, guys? It's Fun Night Tiger, and um, uh, we're gonna look at the AVS gaming software for uh, their peripherals. So here it is, um, on launch stuff and ready to go. I have tested it, and um, it works. It's actually pretty simple and nice. Um, it's simple yet there's customization, so that's good. Um, you can go download this software at the um the website and i'll put that link in the description down below so uh let's begin um as you can see here is the main interface for the uh, software um your cursor does change which is a minor touch i like it's pretty cool um here's some icons shows when you have a uh, avia product or, or pro a peripheral plugged into your computer um it will start um scanning and then it will show up your um peripheral in the uh, boxes in one of the boxes so um, as you can see here's my um, Avia Osmium keyboard mechanical keyboard and if you want to check that out uh, I'll put that link in the description down below so there you go and here's the Avia forums uh, their official website and updates so there you go um, let's look at some tabs so here's the Osmium tab and then if you click on profiles it's loading um, here, here is the Osmium's uh, uh, G switches or macros, as people would say. Um, so there you go. There are five uh, macros in this keyboard, so you can do whatever you want with those five. So there's profiles, and up above here, you can see the different colors, and those are the profile switches. And um, each time I click, and when I'm clicking these right now. They're actually, um, like my keyboard right now is actually changing color. Um, so that's pretty cool. Settings, there's the profile settings. You can enable, disable, you can disable the greeting effect or enable it. It's your choice. And um, there's the onboard memory, and you can clean memory if you want. It's your choice. So yeah, um, let's look at the profile. It's loading once more. Um, so here it is. Um, we're gonna go for the blue one because it's my favorite color. Uh, let's click on G1 right here. So as you can see, these are some um, uh, basic uh, settings like they chose up for you. So here's here's the um, I guess simple things: the uh, browser favorites, previous windows, emails, play, pause, previous next, and Excel. I don't know why that's there, um, but yeah, you can always. Um, click on macros and you can see all the macros here and you can edit them if you want so here it is the customizing um, thing the customizing place so um, you, as you can see you can see all the options for your own macros so you can see the record button the use pause key um, you can choose uh, whatever style you want there's the auto detect delay time execute once my macros, import macros, and import. They spelled that wrong. <laughs> Mar import ma macro. But um, yeah, and um, as you can see, to the left, you can see some simple pictures they um, they made for uh, you, so you can you know assign whatever pictures you want. I guess that's how it works, right? I don't know, but um, you can delete it. Okay. So, um, let's record, and um, I'm just going to do, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. Alright, so as you can see, let me stop this, we can clearly see a whole bunch of things going on. So, at first, you're going to be like, whoa, what the hell is this? Um, especially to those who never had a uh, gaming keyboard. So, I'm just going to explain. Um, as you can see... Press and hold key one, and key one is the the number uh, keys on top. And um, right here below it, I press and, I pressed it, and uh, and it's and it shows up the time delay, 122 milliseconds. So that's basically the 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 holding time. I press the key, and then right here it says release key. So that's what it just means. And um, all these are one through zero. So there you go. And as you can see right here, release key 9, um, I made a delay there, so it shows up 
1620 milliseconds and uh, there you go so you can you can actually customize a whole bunch of these like go to here and you can you can change the time delay to whatever you want like let's say if I wanted to be one out like 10 like 10 million and there you go um, so you can change to whatever you want whatever you desire so there you go um, and you can delay one at a time if you want or if you want you can undo it if you accidentally delayed it one and you can just delete them all so there you go um keyboard and mouse um uh, basically the, these are styles for you to choose like for keyboard and mouse you can just use your you can uh, set your this uh g1 you can set that into like only your keyboard and mouse keys or buttons or you can just choose it to be your keyboard or it could just be a mouse in this point or it could just be a regular mouse and there you go so these are some of the few options like I said and there's auto detect time you can always and this and you can change it to be a fixed time which I don't really like there's three settings no delay auto detect or fixed time and here's execute once or loop mode or fire mode or execute once so loop mode is basically it's gonna go over and over again I mean fire mode it's um what is fire mode I, I, hmm I don't know what fire mode is Let's see. Hmm. Let's see what it is. Fire mode. Um. Yeah, don't know what that is, but um, yeah. So um, I have to look into that. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not sure what that is. But you can use pause key, like I said, or don't use it. And um, you can import your macros if you wish. Here are a bunch of icons you can do. And you can even make your own icons if you want. So that's cool. So there you go. And you can export the macros if you want. And you can save them to whatever files you want. So a whole bunch of customizations and everything. You can click on your, your macros, my macros, to see um, your previous macros you made. So there's a lot of like customizations to your macros to you know so you can freely use how you want it to be so and then after, and if you finish after that um, you can you can press save and there you go right now it's empty but yeah so if you had your own icon or you put their icon in then this would change to whatever the picture of the icon was so there you go um, so yeah and that's basically it guys and then you just click save to be done and that is basically it and um, like again there's five profiles so you can click so especially for the Osmian you can all you got to do is click on the profiles and um, they will load up the macros you want so there you go guys this has been the review and the overlook of what well, I guess well, a tutorial. <laughs> this has been a tutorial of the Avia's gaming software for their peripherals and everything else. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please rate and comment. And don't forget to favorite and subscribe because you know it's free. And it, I really, I really appreciate if you guys would subscribe. It helps my channel out and it makes me, you know, wanna be motivated to make more videos for you guys so there you go guys thanks for watching this has been fun night tiger gaming for life signing off